Now the way we make the bell siphons is I'll take a, a regular PVC tea, sanitary tea, and a plug like this one and cut the bottom with a hole saw. I'll make a uh, make a center line in there and then I'll tap that center line and cut it with a hole saw. Then we'll take the regular three-quarter inch conduit fittings, a male and a female, and we screw these together like this, one on the inside, one on the outside, and we'll tighten them up enough to where the O-ring seals on the bottom. Then this goes into the T, the bottom of the sanitary T. This is the standpipe for the uh, for the bell siphon. The water the nutrient solution will come up to the top of the standpipe, and I use a little. Uh, fitting that's a little larger than this standpipe on the top and you adjust this you cut this pipe to however wherever you want the water to start the siphon the water will come in it'll it'll vortex in through this and as soon as it breaks off the uh, the air this will begin to siphon and it will uh, come out through this standpipe through the bottom and I'll usually have a uh, an L or a couple of L's on the bottom, but uh, and then you just have uh, a two-inch tube over this, about three quarters of an inch over the top of this standpipe, and then you just put a cap on it, and uh, that's your bell siphon. There's no moving parts. There's not anything to wear out, and. Uh, you may have to clean these maybe once a year, and that would be all. This, of course, goes to the uh, grow bed. This is where the water from the grow bed will come out and come in. And if you've got a, uh, like say, a 12-inch uh, grow bed, and you want it to kind of the water to come up 10 inches, and then siphon all the way back down, then you put this standpipe and adjust it to to take 10 inches, start at 10 inches, and stop. Well, you can stop it wherever you want it, actually. But uh, it will stop after the grow bed drained. Now, this is the way that you grow your, your crops in water because <clears throat> your nutrient solution comes up, it feeds the roots, and then when it goes down, the nutrient solution coming down like this brings in oxygen for the roots and so the roots won't rot but they'll always be moist and they'll all have, always have the nutrient solution. So these are the uh, uh, bell siphons that I use. I've seen a lot of people they'll put the bell siphon in the center of the their grow bed and then uh, they won't have a tea or anything they'll just have uh, the bell siphon in the center of their grow bed and then they'll put a a two inch cap on this thing and then they'll put like a four inch uh, guard around it to keep gravel out of it and uh, keep it from clogging up and uh, as far as I can see those those type of um, bell siphons are going to cause you a little problems because you're going to get roots in there uh, with these they're positioned at the end of the grow bed and so you're never going to have to worry about having to clean roots out of this bell siphon. And to me, this is this works the best. Okay, and that's the way I make bell siphons.